Shannon, how much should the Clippers trust Paul George going forward? I don't know what the Clippers are going to do, but I'm telling you, I ain't trust him until I see the playoff. Mm -hmm. Now, he doesn't call himself regular season P. Did he call himself regular season P? Mm -hmm. Or he called himself playoff P? Mm -hmm. Because if you go back and look at his history over the last five years, you look at his last two years in the uh, Mm Indy and see what happened. You look at his two years in OKC and see what happened. Look at last year at uh, at the the Clippers and see what happened. Mm -hmm. Playoff P. You know, now we talk about regular season. We hyped about the regular season. You played good in the regular season last year. Mm. Your last year in OKC, Skip, he finished third in the MVP. Mm. But what did you do come playoff time? Russ out there balling out of his mind, got 44, 45. Paul George showed up with a – he said, I got five on you, Russ. Gave him five points. Mm. So that's what I need to see, Skip. But the, the credit that the thing that I love most about sports, Skip, is not is, – it's different than most jobs. And they say you should update your resume probably of a six – every six months to a year, maybe every two years. But in pro sports and basketball, three or four times a week, you can update your resume, Skip. Mm. And so thus far this year, he's updating his resume. But I need to see I need to see this guy. Mm. The guy that I'm seeing right now through the first six or seven games, yep. I need to see that guy come playoff time. Mm. And then me and Paul George will be able to sit down and have a conversation. Now, mm. you can be mad about the media all you want to. But we're not calling you a soft ass, you know what? Mm-hmm. That's your peers. Mm. So you got to convince them. You got to convince me. I ain't nobody, Skip. I ain't never put on no gym shorts and got on the NBA court. Convince those guys. Because those are the guys that's talking to you sideways. They ain't never say that about KD. Uh. They don't say that about Kobe. They don't say that about Braun. Mm. They say that about you. Mm. They might not like Braun. They might not like Kobe. They might not like Shaq and all those other guys. But they don't say no soft, you know what? Mm. So... You convincing me, you better go convince them guys that you're going up against. Mm. So, Pandemic P has become (laughs) the easiest target in all of sports right now. He is subject to ridicule on the Internet the way almost nobody is because everybody's ready to pounce. When he does anything wrong, C, it's playoff, as you called it, (laughs) P-E-E, right? Okay, I know it's early. I know we're only seven games in, but I would like to remind everyone that the Los Angeles Clippers now lead the Western Conference. It's a five and two record, but the reason they lead is they're tied with the Lakers and Phoenix, and they have beaten the Lakers and Phoenix. I would like to remind everyone that if you did, for whatever reason, call off the rest of the season and vote for an MVP right now, I believe it would be Paul George because I think the numbers are sensational what he's done. He has played unbelievably well Mm -hmm. so far Yes, up against odds of trash talk and Internet ridicule that are – they're brutal. They're devastating. And now, as he says – Everywhere I turn, somebody's trash talking me on the court about you ain't, you know what? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Did he bring that upon himself? Yes, he did last <laughs> yeah. year. I, I got it. But he continues to say, You guys had me last year because I was coming off two shoulder surgeries. Right. And I started with a new running mate on a new team. Right. And so it was a struggle to stay on the court and to figure each other out. Right. Then they hit the bubble. And what happened to Paul George? Well, he openly admitted, Yeah. I had trouble. He was dealing with some things. I struggled. Mm -hmm. I I had depression. Right. I had anxiety. I didn't like it there. I I was incredibly unhappy. I needed some counseling. And he was very open-hearted about it. And the guys on TNT, the whole crew, they were all over him about it because you can't show, they said, that kind of weakness weakness. in, in the bubble in the playoffs. Yeah. And to your point, when it was winning time, he was losing. Right. And Kawhi wasn't much better, but he was a little better. But it, but obviously, they put themselves in a power position, up three games to one on Denver. And every night, they were a seven- or eight-point favorite over the Denver Nuggets. And I keep saying they were a little higher favorite over the Nuggets than the Lakers were when they played the Nuggets. And yet, they could not close. With a 12-point lead and a 15-point right. lead and a 19-point lead, they could not close three straight games. And he was a culprit, certainly. Yeah. Kawhi was, certainly in game seven, was my, he probably worse. Kawhi than was off with the other night, too. Okay. But they are still five and two. And if I look at these numbers, he has, so far, I know it's early, but his PER is a career-best 25. He's averaging a career-best 25 points a game. He's shooting a career-best 51% from the field, a career-best 49% from three. And by the way, he's made 33s. That leads the NBA so far. That'll work. Yeah. Obviously, 
he he shot you guys out of the gym on opening yeah, night, he, right? He, he was the, re the sole reason that they he won. He scored 33 on opening night and made five out of eight threes against But let me ask you a question, Skip. How many games are we going to have like what he had against Dallas, mm. where he scores 15, they go 0 for, 3, 0 for 6 from the three-point line and lose by 51? Okay. How many of those are we going to throw in there? Yeah, um, no Kawhi that night. But that, yep. that's the okay. time. To, hold okay. on. If you're not what, you, what they call you, yep. that's when you show up and do okay. dirt. But you do said, your work. They had done their work because they had beaten the Lakers and they went to Denver and they throttled Denver on its home court. What I tell you. And and by the way, Kawhi got hurt in that game, as you know, late in the, is, is maybe six minutes left. Mm -hmm. And Paul George took them home. And he was really good in that game because he had nine assists and five out of nine from three. Okay, that'll work. Right. And then he said they were given Christmas Day, the day after Christmas when they went home, and they just took the afternoon. Remember, they had early tip, a 12.30 right. uh, p.m. tip here, right. mm -hmm. obviously. And they didn't show up, okay? I, I'm going to give him that one because he's been so extraordinary. He came back against Portland, had 23, 10, and 7. And then at Phoenix the other night, he scored 39 and also had two steals and a block because he can defend at a high oh, level. Oh, yeah. But Skip, I mean, Skip, in all your years of covering, you know how this works. Pro sports is, is predatory, beha predatory behavior. It is. We find the weak link. Yep. We find the weak link or who we believe is weak. Yep. Even in the All-Star game, what they say? We going to James Harden because we believe he's weak on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. Well, we going to Luka Doncic. What did uh, uh, Kyle Kuzma say? That's predatory behavior. You we find pass the, the ball to whoever Luka You find the weak covering. link, Paul George. They believe you weak because, look, I'm not saying you weak, but that's the way it's being – that's what the players in the NBA, that's how they perceive you yep. for opening up and being honest about what you were dealing with. Now, he seems to be in a good headspace. He got engaged this summer. He did. He seems to be very, very happy with where he is right now, yep. and I'm happy for him. But all this regular season doesn't mean anything. You gave yourself the name Playoff P, not regular season P. Yep. So we need to see playoff. We need to see this guy right here in the playoffs. Then you can start to quell some of those voices by calling you soft and saying, oh, you, you know, you're not what you think. Okay, I got it. And I am with you on this. I just like where he's heading. I yeah. like his new body language. I, I like what he's saying in response. You guys had me last year, but I'm back now, and I'm happy now. I'm good. Skip, you remember? I'm healthy. Skip, you remember how he came back last year, the first couple of games, either mm -hmm. 35, 36 mm -hmm. points? He was just lighting people up. In the playoffs, Skip, that's, that's, what, that's what you make it, Skip. The regular season, every great player, when you look at Magic, Kobe, Shaq, LeBron, it's all about the playoffs. Okay, I got it. What have I always told you about that guy? Occasionally I've called him Paul George. Yeah. It's George Paul, mm -hmm. right? He is a complimentary superstar, but he is a star. Yeah. And this team will go as far as Kawhi Leonard takes this team mm -hmm. ultimately. But I believe that he will be there, and I think he is trustable in the playoffs as a complimentary right. star. Is he going to have an off night? Yes, he is. Yeah. They all do. Everybody right. yeah, of course. Does. Okay, but in the end, I believe he has enough star power to him that I would trust that this team can go because, all the way. Yeah, yeah, of course. Skip, anytime you have two guys, if one is off, the other have to bring up the load. Yep. If AD was off, Braun could bring the load up. Mm -hmm. If Braun is off, AD could do it. You look at look at the Nuggets. If Joe was having an off night, Murray go crazy. Murray having off, Yoke goes crazy. Yep. Well, when Kawhi was off, Paul wasn't to be found. So now that's why people are like, hold on, bro. Mm -hmm. They gave up all this for you. That, that's what you're supposed to be. That's supposed to be your role now. It's like the lead actor goes down. This is your time. Give this. I've been waiting for this moment. This is my time. Action. Okay. This, this he is forgot his, his line. You know what? This is his time. This year is his time because he is a laughing stock right now. Absolutely. He's an internet laughing yes. stock. So let's see if he can respond. And so far, so great. Yeah, Paul. I mean, Paul, tell you, I'm going to tell him, watch him out. He told uh, uh, Devin Booker, watch him out. Booker said, man, shut up. Well, he told Chris Paul. <laughs> I think he said something worse to Chris Paul. Yeah. And Chris Paul backs down to nobody. Paul, see, Paul, they got him braided. Now, Paul, you know, he uh, was Paul Dale. You know, Paul say, look at bro. Y'all see what's on, my, what's on this dome? Y'all yep. better back up. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. All I care <laughs> is just play. Yeah. Yep. Just but we coming. Mm -hmm. you, and we got you, a long way right to go. Now. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.